today we're gonna make some simple rice pudding. So we're gonna have two glasses of milk and one glass of rice, half cup of brown sugar. You can use white sugar if you want, but I prefer brown one. A little bit of raisins and cinnamon mixed with salt. First we're gonna do is we're gonna boil the milk two cups and then put the rice in. But then you're gonna see a bit further away. So I put two glasses of milk. What I'm going to do, I'm going to mix it with water. And then later, after half an hour, boiling the rice, we're going to add more milk to make it more creamy. So now we're going to wait for the little bubbles to pop up. Not yet, and then we're going to pour in the rice. <coughs> so, now as you can see, we have some small bubbles. Now we can add the rice. And we're going to boil the rice for 20 minutes. And then we add sugar and other ingredients. We bring the milk to a boil and then we put on low heat and continue boiling the rice for 20 minutes. 25 minutes. Depends on the type of rice we have. This one is a bit takes longer time to boil, so I'm gonna cook it for 25 minutes. So as you see now it's boiling and then we leave just for those 25 minutes and then we add all the rest of the ingredients. Wow, look at this, it's already getting creamy. This is going to be delicious. I haven't been even boiling for 20 minutes. Wow, look at this now, it's already so creamy. Looks ready, but it's in just 10 minutes. We need to add 15 more. So now it's been cooking for about 20 minutes, and now we're gonna add sugar. Mix it in, very good. Mix it a bit brown. Some raisins. Depends if you like lots of raisins or not so many raisins or not raisins at all. It's your choice. And now a bit of salt and cinnamon mixed together. Mix again. Look at this, so creamy. This is going to be delicious. Can't wait to try. And now we're going to cook for more 10 minutes, 10-15. Ten, Let's just see if it's ready quickly then. It's ready. Looking good. Not ready. So this is the result. Look at this creaminess. I just need to wait for it cool down. Or even eat it hot, I don't care. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, we have one cooked banana, and we're going to add some cacao powder. We mixed in some almond powder, and we're going to add that in. And now we mix. Nice, nice and chocolate. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> nice. Okay, now we just add a little bit of milk. We mix it a bit more so it can have a nice creamy effect to drizzle on top of the rice pudding. That will make it like a dream. Okay, hope you liked the video. Stay 
tuned for more. Subscribe to our channel and see new videos that can upload them each week. Bye. Bye. Hope you enjoy. Today we're letting the rice pudding cool by the window for about 30 minutes. And then we'll put the chocolate sauce on and it'll be ready for us to dig in. At, at the end of the video, we will be showing the finished rice pudding covered in the nice sweet chocolate we made and nice and cool. This is definitely a um, must-make mm. recipe. It's so easy and simple. Everyone has those ingredients at home. Yeah. Mm. So good. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, mm. how can you not want to eat this? <laughs> exactly. It's chocolate. It's yummy. Mm -hmm. And it's perfect for people who love sweets. <laughs> nice on cold days, warm days, any day. Quite quick. Yeah. One hour with the sauce. Subscribe. Enjoy. <laughs> if Leave you all comments with ideas. Yeah, you can make requests if you want us to make something. Something that we actually can make. <laughs> something simple. Not anything fancy, fancy. We don't have that many ingredients. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can serve this to anyone and they're gonna love it. Even for dinner maybe. I mean it has rice. <laughs> Nice and sweet. Mm. The finished rice pudding. Enjoy.